you might have heard you should know you might have heard that afro badges has passed on yes the nigerian you know entertainment industry nigerians are large have been thrown into money and the last video he posted people was actually commenting r.i.p 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 <laughs> like r.i.p for what now r.i.p for what where would he die where would this be the Afro budget oh my god where would he die god i don't want to believe this i don't want to believe this in any way news broke on the 3rd of august in the evening hours of the 3rd of august 2024 that abimbola williams popularly referred to as obaje a yoruba vlogger and soft life living entrepreneur afobaje passed on he slumped while playing football um, at Ikeja in Lagos State, Nigeria. This man is well-traveled, you know. His vlogs basically comprises of him talking about his life and giving us updates on his life, you know, but with Yoruba. One of the persons that promotes Yoruba culture. His death has caught a lot of persons, including myself, by surprise. Because just a couple of days ago, this man put out a post to say, oh, he has another vlog, but he wants to wait. Like, should he, he was asking if he should wait for the ongoing protest in Nigeria. The hashtag end bad governors protest going on that should he wait for the protest to end before putting out a vlog. Some persons were like, oh, I just spoke with him a couple of days ago. Well, I spoke about him rather with a friend a couple of days ago, like anticipating him, saying you've not seen him in a while, and you know, all of those things. This man was active up until the first of August on his social media platforms before the news of his untimely death hit the internet. A lot of you know bloggers and vloggers are really, really mourning his demise. My Jashima Don, who is a popular Yoruba vlogger, also who broke the news. Um, has gone off social media for two days in respect to him because according to him um, this young man Hafobaje posted no uh, uh, uh donated amount of 250,000 naira sent it to Niger Shimadun that this man should give it to Nigerians who might be stranded given the protest and they not being able to move from one place to the other to fend for themselves in the days that this prote protest has been going on for so this man is somebody who was also a philanthropist now some Nigerians are saying that his death could be averted if people then knew how to perform CPR because you just don't slum and die like there must be an underlying situation that was not quickly addressed or what well, other persons are saying anything could have happened to him it could be embolism pulmonary embolism it could be cardiac arrest it could be high blood pressure that has not been monitored over a while it could be anything so he could have slumped for whatever reason but some persons are saying if they had performed cpr on him he might be here but i mean regardless of what anybody might say or what the the, the, the thought process might be it is it's fact now that afobaje is no longer with us this man's real name is abimbola williams and if you want to know more about him who he is how did he get to be where he is today an entrepreneur who is able to travel the world and bring us you know show us somebody was even like this man is my it was my inspiration to leave poverty so i could travel from today is going from paris to milan you know is going from cities to cities continents to continents and just having an amazing time and carrying us along on his journey right so who is this man who whose death has, you know, ha have the, 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 the content creation industry, so to say, in such, such grief. Abimbola Williams um, was in his late 30s to 40s or mid 40s. I can't ascertain the actual age that he was. It's not on social media. This man is somebody who actually really kept his private life really private. His name is Abimbola Williams. He's from Ijebu Ode, Ogun State, Nigeria. It's safe to say that his parents' his early years in Ijebu Ode in Ogun State. Um, he celebrates so Drew Dio as far back as 2014. He had posts concerning him, you know, um, going on being a full bred Ijebu boy. Right, he, excuse me, I'm saying he's in his mid thirties to forties because Bolia Arole, you know Bolia Arole now, the comedian and one um and actor, uh refers to him as Egbo, and Bolia Arole is not a small boy. Do you understand? So that's why I'm thinking. But I don't know if Afobaje left behind a wife and children, but I think he's married. I'm not sure. But if you look at some of his posts, you will see him wear something that looks like a wedding band consistently in some of his videos. I don't know if it's just fashion, but he also wears some other jewelry on his fingers. So I don't know if that's a wedding band or it's just some jewelry that he decides to put on his ring finger. On his, you understand, the marriage ring finger. I, I'm not certain, but um, it's not privy to the public if he has 
has that but if you have that information you can of course let us know in the comment section if Afobaje was married before his untimely death i mean it's one that can be referred to as a sudden death this man graduated from the university of lagos in 2016 according to Afobaje, he went to three universities in seven years sort of what mr macaroni <laughs> had also you know that's just on a lighter note guys just so that all of us will not be so engulfed in this sadness that has been in the air since it, since news you know came that half had passed on lots of persons are still very much in shock you see posts and people saying it's just so unbelievable some people are even saying they they got to know about him a couple of days before his passing right um so like i was saying he attended seven um three universities in seven years graduating officially in 2016 from the university of lagos in akoka um guys it's just so sad what has happened to him if you have more information concerning um what afobaje what afobaje went through and you know his life journey his life story definitely will bring it to your own pleasure this man owned um, an automobile business an energy business that's the those are the businesses it does um you know those are the businesses he does majorly he owned the or it was see of a point more autos and a point more in inverters so those are the businesses that at least we do know that he public publicly does um yeah he refers to himself as the kingmaker a traveler with unparalleled love for his culture he's a muslim right so i want to assume that his body would be rest to be laid to rest you know um soon enough Anyways, guys, that's the story. That's the gist. It's quite hard to hear that this has happened. And if you have any information in the comment section, you can let us know. You can share this video. People who are very curious to know what he is, his life story, his autobiography, and, you know, what what he was in his lifetime. It's obvious that, I mean, he, he actually did some corporate jobs because if you look at his timeline, you will see that there were some pictures in 2018 or so where he seemed to be at work, you know before um and by 2019 he had started his automobile business you know it's been patronized by people like mr monia shaka himself you know and some top you know celebrities in the country home and abroad anyways guys um that's it let me hear from you in the comment section we pray that god rest the soul of afobaje and it keeps you know just living this the soft good life that he lived here in eternity that it's peaceful for him and also that his family uh his loved ones are able to bear this irreparable immeasurable and very sudden you know uh demise what is lost that he have just that has come upon them very suddenly it's quite sad guys it's quite sad. a lot of persons are saying nigerian youth should take their health more seriously but the thing is we really don't know maybe autopsy will be performed to very much ascertain the actual cause of that because they just slumped and passed on that must have been horrible for people that were there and witnessed it guys must be horrible anyways guys um thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye